Welcome to Plot Twisters, a teen book club from Forsyth County Public Library. I'm Stephanie and I'm from the Sharon Forks Library. So all the books I'm going to show you today are all about deaf culture. I really enjoy reading books that feature deaf characters and I've been learning American Sign Language or ASL. So it's really something I'm passionate about and I'm excited to share these books with you. So the first book I'm going to share with you is from our teen middle collection and it's You Don't Know Everything Jilly P by Alex Gino. And this book is about Jilly, and Jilly thinks she knows everything about life. And then her sister is born. Her little sister, Emma, is born deaf. She has never met any other deaf people other than on a fandom message board for her favorite fantasy series. She knows a, a teenage boy named Derek, and he is a deaf boy who uses ASL. And she is trying to learn how to be a support for her sister and find out how to kind of wade through this new world that has um, she's been thrust into and so she asks Derek for advice and it's not always in the best or uh, most productive way when a really horrific incident rocks the local black community she experiences something entirely new to her which is the deaf black lives matter movement so it's a really really good read I wasn't expecting as much depth as there was to this book um, when I first read about it so the second book is a teen high book and this is a newer book that's The Silence Between Us by Alison Gervais. And this is about Maya, and she is a deaf teenager who moves across the country and suddenly has to go to a hearing school for the first time. So she finds it really uh, frustrating to adjust to being in a hearing community, but then she's also really surprised because her classmates, including a cute boy named Bo, start to take the time to learn ASL on their own so that they can communicate with her in her own language. Uh, she focuses on her future after graduation and won't let anything stop her. And it's a really uh, great use of ASL too, because it's really unique how they write the different sentences between ASL and English. It's, it's a really great read. So I hope you guys enjoy those. If you're interested in American Sign Language or ASL, you can also learn for free through Gallaudet University. They have a website called ASL Connect where you can learn how to do some basic communication with sign languages. So thanks for joining us for today's book talk at FCPL We Know Books.